everyone, my name is Desala, I'm a fashion designer and you are welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel, welcome to Daisy's Wardrobe. I am an African inspired racewear fashion designer based here in Lagos, Nigeria and I've been in business for a bit over 9 years. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. So today I'm talking about how to come up with a unique brand name for your clothing line, your clothing business, your brand name, whatever business that you want to start. So how to come up with unique brand names for your business. So I've been in business for a little over nine years and I can remember when I first started, I wasn't very sure of what name to give my business. And I knew that I didn't want to have a business whereby the name that I give my business would be a name that along the line if I happen to um, change the business or change anything that had to do with the business I would have to change the name if you understand what I'm trying to say because when you start a business it's always very important for you to register the business changing your your name is not always the easiest thing to do and I've seen situations whereby um, you've known a business for a certain number of years and you like the business, you like the brand, or maybe even the business just fizzled out and they just want to come back and they change the brand name. That was something that, you know, there's nothing wrong in doing that. But personally, I didn't really want that to happen to me. And when I started my fashion business, I, I was literally jumping into the water. I didn't really, I wasn't very sure what I was doing really, but I just took a leap of faith and I said, you know, if I want to change from fashion business to something else, probably within fashion, not necessarily clothes, I wouldn't necessarily have to change my 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 brand name. So um, I came up with different names that I wanted it to be unique, and um, I'll just give you some of the um, characteristics if. <laughs> If I'm correct, that um, you'd want a unique business name to have. So the first one is you don't want your business name to be too long. You don't want to have a business name that is so long because you want to make a statement. You want people to know that yes, this business has one powerful name, one strong name. You give it one abracadabra.com. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So yes, you don't really want your business name to be too long. So you want to give your business name something that um, is very, very easy for people to remember, very, very straight to the point. And sometimes also um, kind of like give people an idea of what you do. So for example, my business is Daisy's Wardrobe. And um, for me, when you're writing Daisy's wardrobe, it, it, it may be it may seem a bit long, but um, I had my reasons of putting it that way. Because in a wardrobe, what do you find in a wardrobe? You find clothes, you find shoes, you find accessories, you find different things in a wardrobe. So that was where the wardrobe came from. But a lot of people call it Daisy, and a lot of people call me Daisy. Initially, I hated it, but I've come to live with it, and I'm used to it. So yeah, you don't want the name to be too long. You want it to be as straight to the point as possible. You want people to have an idea, sometimes have an idea of what your business is all about. So when you say Daisy's Wardrobe, it kind of like gives them, not an exact idea, but it has to do with wardrobe. So they start to say, okay, what do you do? So for me, it's a good conversation starter. Another thing is you want your business name to um, be a name that as your business evolves, as your business grows, the name grows with you so that your name can have um, a lasting effect on the identity and the brand of your business, if you understand what I'm trying to say. So basically, if you're with a particular name for your business, over the next five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, the chances of you becoming a household name is very, very high compared to if you are changing your name every now and then because, you know, you are starting as a small business. So, 
you want your business name to even even because you don't know how long your business is going to it's going to last for so if you're starting your business as a young person and you grow older because i started my business when i was young and when you grow older you don't want to say i don't want this name anymore i want to change it because you know i've grown i've evolved i've matured i've seen life this name is too childish for me let me change the name these are things that happen so for me i said my business was young and i was daisy's wardrobe today i'm older i'm still daisy's wardrobe and even people call me madam daisy i hate that name but yes <laughs> you get my gist so basically Having a unique brand name is something that you don't rush into. It's something that you take your time and come up with. And how did I come up with Daisy? I came up with Daisy because when I was in university, I had so many nicknames. I had so, 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 so many. And I wanted to use one of my nicknames to name my business. I want to use my name to name my business. I didn't want to use um, maybe my, my child's name, my husband's name, my marriage name, because I started this business for me. I want it to be me. I want it to be my identity. So, one of my friends came up to me one day and she said, Daisy! And I said, oh, that's you. Nobody's ever called me Daisy before and I like it. So that was how Daisy came about. Then the wardrobe came in later as I was still coming up with the names. So don't be intimidated by coming up with names. So just have a, a plain piece of paper or a notebook and just write as many names as you can as many names as possible and please try not to copy people because the thing is you know once somebody has this really nice sounding name people want to copy that name see let me tell you something just be original just be as original as you can the more original that you are the more i don't know it's just good to be original don't do what other people are doing do what you want to do do what you like you do what is best for you so write as many names as possible and as you go through the names ask people what do you think ask your friends ask your family and if you feel like you don't want to tell people some people start businesses without um on their own and not wanting people to know you know keep it keep it keep it in private until you know business starts and you don't really want to discuss things that's fine write out the names pray about it read over the names as much as you can and which one gravitates more towards you so these are tips for coming up with a unique brand name for your business and i hope my video was helpful today thank you for watching my video i will see you next week and bye